In the 50s, millions of gallons of untreated nuclear waste were dumped here. Now this small lake is considered to be the most radioactive place on Earth. A kilometre away, armoured trucks are loaded with rocks to be tipped into the lake. Cabs are lined with five tons of lead. A ride in these trucks is a ride into a post nuclear hell. The driver, Mansour Abdulin, has just 12 minutes to dump the rocks and return to safety. There are 120 million curies of radiation in this small lake, two and a half times that released from Chernobyl. The driver's overalls are no protection. A few minutes exposure outside the cab will cause radiation sickness. In less than an hour, a man would die. Beneath the ice, a lethal cocktail of strontium, cesium and plutonium. Reports say it is leaking into the water table. They're filling it in because in 1966, a drought shrank the lake leaving a layer of intensely radioactive dust on the shore. The following summer, a cyclone blew the dust across thousands of square miles of countryside. People were warned to keep their doors and windows shut. Officials say more than 40,000 were contaminated. Teams of drivers work in shifts. It will take years to fill the lake. The windscreen is cracked. There is no Geiger counter in the cab. Mayak's doctors say these drivers are in no danger. Others say they're heroes. A year before Gary Powers tried to photograph Mayak, there was another disaster. Until now, it too was a state secret.